when i was very young i used to go to auditions and i used to see those long queues auditions going on for 3 3 days 4 4 days and people mm. you know the ones who are deserving not getting chances people think it's just the instant thing you know i just got hype from social media right. by posting videos and slow mos and by lip syncing but it's not the truth during jab bhi mat actually mm. geet kar absolutely so uh, i love the way she acts i love the energy i love jo ek ek लाइन में जो उनका पूरा चेहरा बोल जाता है और कई बार मेरे शोज में मुझे बहुत सारे डायरेक्टर ने कॉम्प्लीमेंट किया है कि मैं उनकी तरह एक्ट करती हूँ उनकी जो लाइन है जिसको मैं बहुत रिलेट करती हूँ इज मैं अपने आप की फेवरेट पीपल आर नेवर इंटायरली सेटिस्फाइड विद वॉट यू डू यू नो इफ आई पोस्ट अ पिक्चर विच यू नो सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट और लेट से एटी परसेंट यू नो दे लाइक इट But the other thirty percent, even if they like it, they have to comment rubbish. Uh, I, I shot for my Punjabi film. You did? Yeah. Wow. So um, it was supposed to release. यही कुछ महीनों में, but जैसे हमारी COVID की वापस से वो हो गया था, उसके वजह से आगे इन few delays. But inshallah, it will be out soon, and I really hope that you guys watch it and like it. I learned. Punjabi for that. Now don't ask me to say something <laughs> in Punjabi because I want to keep it like a full secret. Hello everyone, this is Avinash Lohana, and you're watching Pink Villa. Our guest today is a young achiever, a social media sensation, and someone who has won the hearts of millions across the world. Please welcome Jannat Zubair. Hi, Jannat. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. So you know, I would like to begin this interview by asking you about uh, your influence on social media. At one point, social media was not really a career option, but it yeah. is today. You know, when we were studying, we only had the option of science, arts, commerce. But there's a lot that's happening today. Did you also go through that phase, or social media was always the focus for you? No, uh, social media was never a focus for me because uh, I started acting when I was very, very young. I was a kid. I was six or seven years old. So the focus was only acting. Hmm. You know, and uh, back then. we did not know that you know it will take such a big turn and it will become this huge thing yeah. and now like you said it is a career now when you ask people they say you know i am an influencer and it's such What? a great thing because you know uh, when i was very young i used to go to auditions and i used to see those long queues auditions going on for 3 3 days 4 4 days and people mm. you know the ones who are deserving not getting chances and you know they still have that uh, keeda of acting or nikalna <laughs> chahte the but now because of social media unke khud ke talent ko portray karne ke liye they have their own platform absolutely you know they're not relying on somebody else or mm. they're not relying on kab mujhe mere talent ko showcase karne ka mujhe platform milega so i think it's very good in a certain way if you use it in the right so sure. you know but that's also very interesting what you just said a lot of people think that your fame and the uh, you know the attention that you've got is very recent but you've been working for it since 2010 and of course there has been a journey which is almost 12 years long right how do you look back to that day i started working i think in 2008 or 7 wow. or 8 so yeah and before acting i used to do a uh, garment modeling you know when you go to a showroom yes. you see those pictures which were kids modeling for outfits and stuff So that's how I started. So I look back with gratitude, and mm. uh, we've actually seen the struggle. You know, my parents uh, used to take me to town, to places uh, for, for shoes. It used to take like four four hours of traveling back then. So I look with gratitude, but like you said, people think it's just the instant thing. You know, I just got hype from social media right. by posting videos and slow mos and by lip syncing, but it's not the truth. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I'm still very grateful for everything. So, sure. do you remember those days? I remember in one of the interviews also said your father used to take you around for all the auditions and how were those days? <laughs> those days. How many <laughs> auditions in a day would you do? Tell me. Three or four auditions. Wow. Yeah, and like I said, queue लगते थे हाँ. and we used to get a queue sheet जिसमें आप नाम लिख के चले जाते हैं और आपको वो लाइन से बुलाया जाता है हाँ. कितनी बार होता था बहुत ज़्यादा लंबी लाइन होती थी we used to write our names you know go to another audition वहाँ भीड़ नहीं होती थी वहाँ audition कर देते थे hmm. and then come back to the place जहाँ आपका नंबर आ गया होगा शायद uh, and uh, my initial two years I did not do anything I think I mentioned it so many times before hmm. because I was camera conscious I had no idea uh, because nobody in you my family conscious? yeah I was camera conscious wow. I didn't know how to you know look into the camera see the lines so my dad used to prepare me for like half an hour 45 minutes for small small lines i used to do everything perfectly with him i used to stand in front of the camera and all blank 
I did this process for exactly two years. Wow. But yes, when I started, I started. <laughs> then no looking back. And how? Uh-huh. And beautifully. So I also have to ask you this about you know, uh, as a child, you might have an influence who inspired you to become an actor. Was there someone? Yeah, it was my dad. Hmm. Uh, a lot of people might know about about this who follow me. He wanted to become an actor. Correct. Uh, and that's what he thought. कि मेरे मेरी बेटी करेगी या मेरा बेटा करेगा when they grow up and he's the one who taught me acting. So we used to have this rehearsal sessions in my house hmm. for half an hour. He used to uh, do those expression switch like happiness, cry, surprise, scared. Pure, essay, essay, and I used to change my expressions. So that is how I learned acting. सब को लगता था that you know I've taken classes, acting classes, this and that. But no, my dad taught me, and uh, he was the only inspiration because he had this focus and aim that ये करना है. Because आप किसी छः साल के बच्चे को obviously नहीं पता होता है उसे life में क्या करना. Correct. So it was uh, his aim. This के वजह से you know when you say that I am a young achiever, it's because of him. Because I was so young, जब मुझे कुछ समझ नहीं आता था, he was the one who knew क्या करना है. So that आज जब मैं twenty years की होंगी, तो उन्होंने देखा होगा कि मैं कहाँ होंगी. Sure. So, yeah. Another influence, if I have read correctly, and if I have researched correctly, is Kareena Kapoor Khan, right? Oh yeah. You are a fan. Yeah, I hmm. love her acting. I mean, I became a fan, became her fan when I was uh, during Jab Bhi Mein, actually. Hmm. Geet character. Absolutely. So, uh, I love the way she acts. I love the energy. I love जो एक-एक line में जो उनका पूरा चेहरा बोल जाता है. हम्म. और कई बार मेरे shows में मुझे बहुत सारे director ने compliment किया है कि मैं उनकी तरह act करती हूँ. Really? So that's I think uh, because मैं कहीं ना कहीं उनकी acting और उसको इतना गौर से देखती हूँ कि वो हर एक चीज में मतलब अगर उन्हें look भी देना है तो उसमें भी बहुत energy है. So I think yeah. Can you impress on in Geet? You you can you say anything how Geet says from जब भी मैं जब भी मैं का कोई मुझे line तो नहीं याद है but उनकी जो line है जिसको मैं बहुत relate करती हूँ is मैं अपने आप की favorite so that is actually the truth you think you reached that level of stardom or what how do you define stardom see when I look back and I see that I gained fans during my shows when I used to do full work I used to do Kashi and so many other television shows i used to meet people and uh, i remember there was this one time uh, during no, not during full work after full work after 3 4 years i met this family i was shooting for another thing and they came to me and they were like we loved your show mm-hmm. and we loved your character and we loved you so much that we named our daughter fulva so you know things like this yeah. i think that is what real stardom for me is when you are able to connect with people so much that you're influencing them into their real life yeah. i mean if they love me so much they love my character so much that they name their daughter as fulva so i think that That's is a something. big big deal for me yeah. now there is this fan she was from bangkok she uh, tattooed my name hmm. the other uh, time when i got to know she made like this full face Oh, my face on her hand so i think this is wow <laughs> this is a different kind of connection because i know that i will never be able to do something like this for somebody i have never met mm. i don't know how the person is in real life i mean not everything you see on social media is the truth right correct but even then if they love me so much if i'm able to build that connection with them i think that is real stardom for me you know sure so but does it stardom has friend. longevity it's very difficult sometimes to explain few things but uh, i just want to keep it short and very very simple i am not asking anything more from this i think what i have is extreme for me hmm. now after this i don't see what else yeah. because the main thing is i mean there are so many actors actresses so many people hmm. you know they are loved on screen but when somebody love you off screen for jannat hmm. I stopped doing TV in 2018 I guess. Hmm. So my real victory is people are not loving me for the person I am being portrayed on TV. Hmm. The person that the director is showing me, the writer is writing, the dialogues I am saying, people love a character. They gain sympathy and stuff like that. But now they love me for who I am. They hmm. love Jannat. So I think that is what really matters. Sure. 
fame and attention are a part and parcel of the social media culture at this point in time but it also comes with own pressures i remember one of the interview you said that somebody wrote you an email saying ke aap kuch gori hain ya aisa kuch to aapko email aaya tha ki maine injections liye hain gore hone ke right how strange do you get a lot of these not a lot of these but yeah sometimes i'm very grateful for this also that you know i do not get hate very often that's true yeah uh it's it's this i think uh, one time i was reading comments this was this one thing and uh, there are a lot of pressures actually and what now pressures? see what happens is uh, people are never entirely uh, satisfied with what you do hmm. you know if i post a picture which you know 75% or let's say 80% you know they, they like it but the other 30% even if they like it they have to comment up it so you know uh, yeah. stuff like that because like i i've said this before that not every follower is your fan yeah you know even if the person follows me doesn't mean that he or she is my fan mm. they're always there to pose they're always there to write and some some people they also do it for attention because they feel like if they write something uh, out of the box you know they might receive a reply or anything but i think it's best to ignore but sometimes uh, it's also very hurtful because you feel like what did i do what's wrong with you i did not sure. even do anything to you sure. Sure. why sure so but janan more power yaar you know i'm sure it this attention that comes over it's difficult to handle and how yeah, you been handling is. this fan following is great mm-hmm. but uh, like you were talking about the pressures i want to see, i want to understand how do you handle all this hate or whatever these these you know these feedback come to you let's use the word feedback a more constructive uh, word did does it play on your mind for the next picture that you post not for the pictures actually hmm. not for the pictures uh when you talk about pressure i also have to uh, pay attention to what caption i am putting yeah because i know my following the age group it's between i mean it's between 13 14 to 18 19 you know they're children yeah. they're kids so there are times even when i think even if it's a song lyric and i want to put it as a caption and i feel like you know it is not suitable for a 13 year old or a 14 mm. year old i would not do that mm. so that is not a pressure but it is a responsibility i feel responsible for that that okay if a certain amount of people who are of this age they mm. following me i think it's my responsibility to make sure that whatever they see if they're getting influenced they're supposed to get influenced in the right way so i shouldn't be uploading this or you know putting this as a caption sure Uh, people around you have also arranged a surprise for you which you didn't yeah. know about obviously uh, how did that feel feels amazing i had absolutely i have no idea about it i am sure my parents who are sitting in dubai right now even they know about it but they did not <laughs> tell me a word about this uh, but i'm very very grateful for for these people very happy to be with mad i have been with mad for like ऑलमोस्ट अभी एक साल होने वाला है एंड गौतम इज लाइक अ फैमिली द इंटायर टीम आई थिंक दिस इज जनाग द इज साक्षी नाव द इज प्राची सो मेनी पीपल आई थिंक इतना ध्यान रखते हैं एंड कोई मौका नहीं छूटते टू मेक मी फील स्पेशल एक्टिंग को लेके आगे प्लान क्या प्लान वॉट विल बी सी जनरल डू नेक्स्ट आई शॉर्ट फॉर माई पंजाबी फिल्म या सो इफ वी सपोज टू रिलीज यही कुछ महीनों में बट जैसे हमारी कोविड की वापस से वो हो गया था उसके वजह से आगे इन फ्यू डीलेस बट इन शाला इट विल बी आउट सोन एंड आई रियली होप दैट यू गाइज वॉच इट एंड लाइक इट आई लर्न पंजाबी फॉर दैट नाउ डोंट आज मी टू समथिंग इन पंजाबी बिकॉज आई वन कीप इट लाइक अ फुल सीक्रेट सो दैट यू नो इट कम्स आउट लाइक लाइक अ प्रॉपर पंजाबी एक्सेंट एंड अ पंजाबी गर्ल हु नोज हाउ टू स्पीक पंजाबी सो यू हैव शॉर्ट दिस फिल्म एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड आई एम लुकिंग फॉर लवली वील प्ले क्विक रैपिड फायर राउंड विथ यू ओके The first question is if you could get a superpower for a day what would that be and why I want so many superpowers I mean I want I want to be invisible one, one. I want to fly so <laughs> I want to travel in time You want to travel back in time Yeah back in time Where do you want to go I think during uh, during my show days when I was 10 11 12 years old I want to travel back in time and see how I used to do and I really miss my unit my oh. all my shows unit used to be very helpful very nice they became became my family so yeah i think i'll travel in time lovely a book or a suggestion that changed your life 
a book or a suggestion that changed my life um not a book mm -hmm. because i don't read oh, okay. and um, a suggestion i think uh this advice that my parents gave me that you know always keep your feet on the ground always be very grounded i think it always helps me so yeah i think that is one advice i always will keep in my heart lovely what is the craziest thing that a fan has done for you uh like i said the tattoo thing mm -hmm. that was crazy there is this one time uh i had um, gone to this event and uh, a lady came to me and she was like my son Huh. He's been studying this for past five years. He's made this invention, and he's such a big fan of yours. Uh, he made this invention five years, and he named it as as Jannat. So that oh. was very special. So I think. I'm sure. One thing you would like to change about yourself. I am actually very picky and choosy. I think sometimes it irritates me, and you know, I think <laughs> sometimes it's very difficult to be so choosy. I think I have to be a little more. Uh, you know easy in picking things and choosing and a little more easy to handle that's the plan for the future <laughs> yeah, I'm, i'm working on it <laughs> this or that fame or fortune i no? think fame because i'm now i'm a spoiled child <laughs> holidays or a home person home person mhm mm rani mukherjee or kareena kapoor <laughs> kareena kapoor <laughs> you know i really like rani mukherjee i worked I with her i know मिस्टर फैजू और अशनूर कौर अशनूर इज माई चाइल्डहुड फ्रेंड अशनूर बीच और माउंटेन्स बीच मूवीज और वेब शोज आई थिंक वेब शोज नाउ दिस इज डिफिकल्ट बट एक्टर और सोशल मीडिया इन्फ्लुंसर एक्टर लवली इफ यू कुड स्टील वन थिंग फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग पीपल वॉट वुड दैट बी Anushka Sen. <laughs> What would that be? I think her hair. It's mashallah so beautiful. Yeah. Mr. Fezu. I think height a little bit. <laughs> a few inches from his height. <laughs> Ashnur Kaur. Ashnur dimples. So, sure. one last thing. If there is a biopic that will be made on your life, what do you want to name it? I think it's too early to answer that question. I mean, I think I should leave this answer on my fans and All the people who know me, so that you know, I yeah. think वो बताएंगे तो ज़्यादा better होगा. बिल्कुल. But I hope that happens soon, and everything else that you want to do in the future, all the best for it. Thank you so much, guys. If you liked this interview, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Pinkvilla.